Alright, so we've nearly covered every aspect of tabs, looking into its history, units and specific features such as the unit creator. However, there's been one aspect that for some reason I haven't covered yet, an aspect that has engrossed me the most, one that completely ignores how tabs was originally meant to be played and that has inspired me to approach the game differently, and I'm of course referring to player interaction during a battle. Do you ever just not play a game how you're supposed to? Not in a way that includes hacking or cheating. I'm mainly talking about booting up Doom on the hardest difficulty just to see if you can beat a level without killing any demons yourself. Playing games in ways you weren't intended. It's something I'm sure we've all done. Whether it's to try and squeeze every last ounce of fun out of a game you really like, or just to try and find fun where originally none could be found. It's so fun to let your creativity run wild and use the tools to create unique ways of playing, whether they were designed to be manipulated or not. Ignoring the objective in exploring, giving yourself voluntary handicaps to make a game even Alright, get to the point. A while back, Landfall introduced the unit possession feature. I'm guessing the idea was to allow the player to join in the battle, helping those players who are a little concerned that this game isn't actually totally accurate to get up close and review things for themselves. I remember this feature being pretty cool for allowing me to participate in fights that I set up, but I soon realised how much more I could get out of this. This started after I played a campaign dedicated to unit possession. Each level is centred around a particular unit and feels tailor-made for that unit. It's really well done. On top of that, it's so much fun and made me realise just how much I could get out of this feature. And not just that, it's made me realise how much fun I can have exclusively utilising this feature. Most sandbox sessions would see me placing a powerful unit and using it to take out hordes of other units. This emerging addiction of mine would evolve with the unit creator. I will pick a spoon. It's now possible to create units perfect for first person or third person. Tab seems very well suited for playing this way due to the abundance of weapons and abilities. If a certain setup gets old, well just make another. There are so many combinations you can make. I will say I do hit some roadblocks when doing this, like sometimes I sit there and think how cool it would be to have multiplayer, but then I realise that this is an underground practice and I don't think I should be playing this way. The unit possession feature can be used for much more than landfill intended, giving so much more value to tabs. The bug DLC seems a lot like cheat codes, they alter gameplay in weird and wacky ways. They're fun to look at, but for the most part don't really apply to the theme of the video. However, there is one that does apply to the theme. The debug tools. They're pretty fun to use, you can just fling units about, alter gravity and even shoot at units. The debug tools make you feel like a god. Unlike the unit possession, the debug tools are dumb, unfiltered fun, with a just for the sake of it approach, which fits really well with Tabs' personality. However, you can't really adapt this as well as you can the unit possession feature. It doesn't seem impossible to create levels centered around this, but it's definitely a more of a for the fun kind of feature than a massively integral part of the game. I know these videos get shorter and shorter with each one I do, but that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about regarding this topic. There's not much more I can really say than I enjoy using unit possession feature for ways landfall didn't really think that I would. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for sparing the time to watch this, and goodbye.